2003 Jaguar S Type R. So this is the 4.2 litre supercharged 400 brake version. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. As you can see, as we go around, it is all the same color of that sort of jade green color. It's not had any dodgy paint work or anything like that. It is all one color. As you can see, all the panels match as we go from one to the other, which is always a bonus. There's nothing worse than a patchwork quilt car. So you can see all the doors, all the wings on the bonnet, they all match the same color. We'll start by having a look down this driver's side. If we look down from here, you can see it is nice and straight. It's not full of filler or anything like that. On this front wing, got a couple of little bubbles in the paint, just starting to show in the arch uh, and a couple of little bits of the inner bit as you go around. It is on the standard R wheels with obviously the large R brakes. Um, got four nice clean wheels. They've been done black with four good tires on it. Coming down this driver's side, nice and tidy. There's no real marks or anything to note. No real scratches or chips or anything like that. All good along there. But all this trim, the black, the gloss black trim, is lovely and clean quite often. These can sort of bubble and discolour, but it's actually on this car, they're really, really good. It's a pillar. It's all nice and tidy. There's no stone chips or anything showing on that. Got a little stone chip on the uh, on the wing mirror there. Roof where it meets the windscreen, that's all nice and tidy. The rest of the roof's good. There's no sign of any ripples or dents or anything on there. Coming down onto this rear arch, you've got a bit of a bubble in the paint just here. And obviously it's going through to the, the inner lip. A little one just turning up here as well. Another good wheel and tyre. Coming round onto the back. This bumper's all nice and tight, obviously you've got parking sensors on there as well. Both rear tail lights, nice and clean, nice and bright. No sign of any moisture or anything of those. It does come on this plate, so it's V8 DYJ. Quite a nice plate, suits the car. This spoiler's nice and tidy, it's not had somebody lifting the boot up and down or anything like that on it. On the rear screen, that's all good. And again, looking at this passenger side, it's nice and straight, there's no ripples or dents or anything in it. And again, it's not full of filler. This rear arch, it's nice and tidy all the way around. Another good wheel and tire. That's just a bit of dirt, we'll ignore that. Got a little scuff just on the side skirt there, which again looks like it's dirt. In fact, it is, it's dirt. Ignore that, we'll get that cleaned off. Little mark on the wing mirror there. And another nice wheel arch on this side. And another good wheel and tire. Round on the front, the headlights could do with the polish, as with every early 2000s Jag. The front bumper and everything, that's all nice and tidy. You've got the odd little stone chip here and there, as you'd imagine. But not that many, actually, at all. The rest of the bonnet, that's lovely and straight and tidy. No sign of any ripples or dents in that. On the interior, and you've got this sort of two-tone tan with the black accents. Nice clean door card there. There's no signs of any real wear or anything on that. On the, uh, to be fair, the, 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 the leather wants a really good clean, you can see. From the top, it's in lovely condition up there. This bolster, most of that's actually dirt. Um, there is a little bit of wear there, but a lot of that is dirt. And there's a little bit of wear down the bolster there. The rest of it, all nice and tidy. It was the same situation on, on, on this panel, which we've cleaned up. Um, so we will give that a clean, most of that will come off. Black carpet set in the R's again. It's got the fitted mats in it. They've obviously been down a long time because the rest of the carpet's nice and tidy. Steering wheel is all nice and clean. No real sign of anywhere on that. It's had this infotainment screen added, uh, which if we start the car, you can see. So it's um, obviously a big upgrade over the standard one. You've got your Bluetooth and your music, your nav, uh, but effectively it's a tablet so you can power any app you like off it really. Uh, obviously plumbed in all the speakers and all that sort of stuff. Um, but again, it's been done a nice job. It's all blanked in down the side so it fits properly. Uh, and then actually on the aircon and on the, um, driver and screen, information screen, none of the pixels are missing, which is kind of unusual in a Jag. So, heated, screen, heated seats of this one, aircon, for 112,000 miles. It's got the radio buttons and, and the cruise and everything on the steering wheel. Obviously electric windows and everything, as you'd expect from a Jag. We'll, uh, we'll pop the bonnet and the boot as we go. Around there. It is worth pointing out, you hit the boot button and that 
fires straight up so the, the rams and everything are still good in there normally they sort of sag by now lovely and clean in the back there carpet sets nice and tidy backs of the seats are good they've not been kicked or abused amazingly for an s type the headlining is not sang it's really good in there lovely and clean and this back bench is fantastic there's no real signs of anywhere at all on there all nice and tidy lovely and clean into the boot like i say that's that spring straight up on the button got this nice clean carpet set and then under here you've got your tool kit the air pump and all that sort of stuff obviously the spare wheel was an option in these as well on this side of the passenger on the, in the rear on the passenger side lovely and clean the same as the other side nothing at all to whinge about like i say that headlining's lovely and tidy there's no funny smells in here no sign of any moisture it's not had any dogs or smokers or anything like that in it and then into the front passenger side all nice and tidy no real signs of anywhere on the seats there at all that's really good it's obviously how these mats fitted from new lower half of the glove box that's all good dash top and everything's nice and tidy and then under here I see you've got that 4.2 litre supercharged V8 with 400 brake your inner wings and everything are lovely and tidy no sign of any wear or anything on there no sign of any corrosion underneath you can see there's no sign of any fluid dropping on the floor <coughs> excuse me we'll, uh, we'll give it a little rev It does sound really good, this car. So there you have it. 2003 Jaguar S Type R. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch. Uh, of course, you can come and view the car yourself. Um, or if you can't get to us, let us know. We can do video calls. We can send you more photos or videos, whatever you need. Thank you.